Well, our first guest joins us via satellite from Vancouver, British Columbia. Keith White is the CEO of Ambient Water Corporation. Their stock symbol is AWGI. Keith, welcome back to the program. Thank you, Don. Nice to be on the program, and thank you for having me. Well, we're really glad to have you here. Now, Ambient Water Corporation describes itself as a company which provides atmospheric water generation systems that extract water from humidity in the air. Can you give us a general overview of the company, please? Well, uh, Don Ambient Water, formerly known as AWG International, has been in the business uh, for some 15 years of manufacturing and designing atmospheric water generation systems. <clears throat> and basically, what we do is we harvest the water in the atmosphere, and it has a significant advantage over our competition in that we know where the water is coming from and we don't have to worry about an expensive infrastructure to move water from point A to point B. So the carbon footprint of our water is actually quite low. And so our commercial systems and our industrial systems are based on uh, well-known components from a company called Johnson Controls. Perhaps you're familiar with them. And the advantage of using Johnson Controls equipment is that their equipment is known worldwide and so we already have a built-in service network. In addition to that, we produce a residential product line in South Korea, and that's serviced by a distributor network. Well, Keith, this is fantastic. We're talking about a renewable water source and the natural humidity in the air that we breathe? Yeah, yeah, that's exactly. You know, not a lot of people are not familiar with what we actually do. And they don't know, for instance, that in the atmosphere, there's more water contained in the atmosphere than all of the rivers in the world, which is unique. And so basically all we need is about 40% relative humidity to make it cost effective to produce water. So naturally the more humidity we have, the more temperature, higher air temperature we have, the more cost effective it becomes to produce water. And uh, our location to produce water is between the Tropic of Capricorn and the Tropic of Cancer. That's our sweet spot. That's the humidity belt around the world. But that doesn't mean we can't produce water in other areas as well. If we have a large body of water, that too is a good location to produce water from the atmosphere. Well, drinking water supplies are approaching crisis levels. The United Nations estimates that within 10 years, two-thirds of the world could be living under water stress conditions. Yeah, yeah, that's very true. And, and many people don't know that even in our own backyard, for instance, the state of California is under a stage four drought condition. And I was reading an article some time ago that uh, Montecito, there are some customers on the system in Montecito that to water their private acreage spend about $125,000 per year. In fact, the water manager for the district of Montecito said that unless they reduce their consumption by 30%, they are going to run out of water. And that situation, although it's, it's home, it's in our backyard, that's not unique. So when you think of states like California, we think of Texas, that scenario is even worse in other parts of the world that are currently today experiencing severe water stress. And that will continue to get worse as we move into the, into the next 10 years or so, Don. There's also a substantial need for water in industrial applications, especially oil and gas industry. Tell us about that. Yeah, no, that's an interesting segment. As you well know, Don, we just rebranded our company, uh, Ambient Water, and our focus is in the oil and gas sector. And so we looked at the oil and gas industry and their need for water. We did an exhaustive study uh, where we wanted to see if we could competitively produce water. What we found out through that study is indeed there is a return on the investment of the equipment, the capital cost of the equipment, and it is effective for us to make water for the fracking aspect of the oil and gas industry. So now we can potentially augment the water supply that they need to frack these wells, which often take millions of gallons. And so what we've done, we've embarked on uh, through our manufacturing facility in the United States here, we're in the process of engineering a system that will produce 20,000 gallons a day of uh, condensate or water for the fracking process. And those units can be uh, in a series of five or 10 to produce up to a million gallons of water per day if necessary. And this is not just for the oil and gas industry, Don. Uh, we can also use that particular product in other industries. One of them would be agriculture, for instance. Can you tell us how your patented technology can be scaled up for large industrial applications as well as smaller for drinking water in homes? Yeah, we, we have a, a currently our product line, our commercial product line, we call it the Water Pro Series, now we call it the Ambient Water Series. 
Uh, that product line can be scaled from just a few gallons a day. Our residential unit uh, produces five gallons a day, and we can go all the way up to several hundred thousand gallons of water per day. And what's interesting about these units is they can be configured in, in different configurations. Uh, for instance, we can have this product line produce non-potable water, so we don't treat the water for human consumption, or we can configure them to treat the water for human consumption as well, Don. Is the cost of the water produced by your technology and systems comparable to current established cost of water? Yes, it is. We can currently produce water for about 10 cents per gallon. And uh, what we have found as we've gone into engineering out these systems that uh, as we have greater humidity and greater air temperature, we produce even more water. So then that cost to produce the water per gallon drops. Uh, what we've also found is that our water is a reliable source of water, we know where it's coming from, and we don't have to worry about all the plastic bottles. For instance, if, a, if an individual or a company is bottling the water, we don't have to worry about that scenario because we have point of use dispensing. Are your systems and technology available to the various markets right now? Yes, yes, we currently have manufacturing in the United States where we produce the commercial industrial product line. Uh, out of that plant, we produce what we call the 400 series. That unit pr produces 400 gallons of condensate or drinking water per day. And that system is totally scalable so that we can go up uh, to approximately three to 4,000 gallons per day with that unit. And they can be daisy chained together produce, to produce 10, 20, 30,000 gallons per day. Uh, in addition, we produce a residential model uh, in South Korea that produces five uh, gallons of condensate per day of drinking water. And that's a small countertop unit that sits on your countertop and produces water. In addition, Don, we have other product line currently that's at various stages of development. And I know uh, the public and other companies will be quite excited when we introduce that into the marketplace. Ambient Water Corporation, AWGI. Keith, why is this a good time right now for people to take a closer look at your company? Well, our company is on, on the edge of success, and we have a great patent portfolio. We have a great portfolio of products. We know what the market is. We know what the demand is. In addition, the world in general and the public in general is becoming keenly aware that the world is running out of water, and they're looking for alternative sources. And so the world needs water. Ambient Water, as a company, we're here to help provide that water for a thirsty world. Ambient Water Corporation, stock symbol AWGI. Uh, Keith, thank you so much for joining us on the program. We'll be watching you very closely between now and the end of the year. Looking forward to more updates during that period of time. Again, thanks for joining us. Thank you, Don. It was nice to spend some time with you this morning.